Would you rather yeah. have your point guard have Steph shooting or your Fine. big man have Hakeem's defense? As good as Steph was at stretching the game, right? As good as Steph was, was expanding the game during the game, right? And in terms of creating double teams and things like that, Hakeem Olajuwon completely yeah. shut your defense down. And he didn't just yes. shut your he, he didn't just shut your offense down in the half court. He shut your offense down in transition. Him specifically, the big man chasing point guards off the long ball line, chasing point guards off the free throw line in transition to slow down your transition game, covering guys like Robert Ori who, who get beat. Lajuan's at the rim, covering guys like Mario Ellie, bodying up against guys like David Robinson and dealing with these guys. And we're talking about a guy in David Robinson who led the league in scoring. The next year, David Robinson held him to 22 a game. This is the league leading scorer who has 70 points in a game to secure the, 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 the scoring championship. The next year, he held him to 22 points. Right, this is the league MVP that he did this to. Now, when I think about a guy like Steph Curry, his ability to expand the game—I mean, expand your defense, shooting at the long ball line—I'm also thinking about another guy that he was running with, Lajuan. On the other hand, I'm the dude on defense. There's nobody else like me, and because there's nobody else like me, these guys rely solely on me, and I do my job. There's a reason why I was the defensive player of the year. There's a reason why I'm in that conversation every year while i'm while, while me while I'm, I'm able to get otis thorpe to get rebounds because everybody's focusing their attention on me there's a reason why i'm able to rebound the basketball because everybody's focusing their attention on me and i'm still doing it so when i think about steph curry as an offensive player or as a long ball shooter i think that it, i i think you can have a conversation but hakeem olajuwon who i think is the best defensive player in nba history mm -hmm. i'm taking hakeem olajuwon over steph curry I just, I just want to clarify. I would rather my big man have Hakeem's defense than my point guard have Steph shooting. I'm just clarifying mm -hmm. that. The issue, the not issue, the thing I'm saying is Steph's shooting ability mm -hmm. to me is so much better than Ray Allen, who everyone here has number two or number one. It's so much better than the second place compared to Hakeem's defense compared to whoever's second to Hakeem. That gap is closer to me than Steph. Steph is so far ahead of everyone else as a shooter that mm -hmm. his shooting is better than Hakeem's defense in that regard. But there's no one adding, close to Steph as you're a adding, shooter you're adding versus other Hakeem's people. defense. You're That's adding, what I mean. Rel rel it's relativity. That's what it is. It's relativity. Mm -hmm. Steph's shooting relative to everyone else in NBA history is better than Hakeem's defense relative to everyone else. Because first of all, I think Bill Russell is the best defender ever. So Hakeem's right. number one team. So Hakeem is already number two. So that would already explain why I think Steph is a better shooter than Hakeem is right. a defender. But then even then, if I did say Hakeem of the modern era is number one, Tim Duncan or KG or David Robinson, who's number two, whoever, is closer to Hakeem defensively than Ray Allen or Reggie Miller or Steve Nash or KD or Larry Bird is to Steph as a shooter. That's what I'm saying. Steph is so much further ahead of everyone as a shooter than Hakeem is as a defender. But if I got to pick, I'm taking a big with Hakeem's defense right. every day of the week over a team of over a point guard of Steph shooter. But again, they're two different questions. I'm just letting yeah. Them. But the question was asked: Well, which would Chill rather have, and which one in his mind would be more impactful? Not relative. And I and, no, and I agree with him. Yeah, I said so, I'd rather my big have. Yeah, defense. yeah, but you, yeah, but you say. But then that, I, but then I also said in a separate comment: Steph mm -hmm. shooting is better than Hakeem's defense. Steph's a better shooter than Hakeem is a defender to me. When I now and, and, that's I the topic I, we're discussing now. Now, if you guys disagree. Right. That's perfectly right. fine. I'm just saying that doesn't change right. the fact I'm choosing the big with Hakeem's defense. Right. So anyone who says, "Oh, Mars, why are you picking?" Well, wouldn't that wouldn't I'm that mean that Hakeem's defense, defense for you is better so, than shooting? I think a big man with that level of defense is going to be more valuable than my point guard shooting that well. So but that, Steph is right. still a better shooter than Hakeem is a defender. And even the value is a different conversation. But who's better? Steph shooting isn't, val isn't I, that well, being well, better than something is value. Well, that's what I'm saying, Mars. The skill. The skill. Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so because because what Mars's logic is is what Mars's lo what Mars's logic has always been. I don't know if you listen to him, Dub, when you when you when you're sitting next to him. Mars's logic is I'm better at basketball than you, and Mars's logic has always been like with Steph Curry, this skill is better than this skill. So Steph Curry's skill as a shooter is better than than Hakeem Olajuwon's skill as a defender, which I disagree with because when I think about Steph Curry's ability to shoot the basketball and then I think about in the aspect of winning, right? When I think about it in the aspect of winning, I think about how good Steph Curry was and I think about the other guys that was running with him. When I think about Hakeem Olajuwon and I think about his skill as a defender, he was the anchor of their defense when they were winning NBA championships. They're not winning without his defense solely. 
Steph Curry, on the other hand, his ability to shoot the basketball, he did have another guy who was comparable to him shooting the basketball. He wasn't as good. No question about that. I don't, I, I don't think I don't think he was better. But there was a conversation about Steph Curry and Klay Thompson in terms of shooters. There was no conversation defensively with anybody else on Hakeem Olajuwon's unit with Hakeem Olajuwon defensively. That's fine. So you That's saying, hold on. So you saying without without Clay, we don't look at Steph as great of a shooter as we do now. <laughs> I do think it's different. Ma. I do think it's different, ticket. Yeah, because mm, I think that's, a, I, that's I, a great. I, hey, that's a great one right there, Ron. Because a lot of people go, a lot of people gonna speak about that. If it's just Steph well, out there having to shoot that thing, well, and don't the reason why I take it, the reason why I take it is, the, the, the reason, wow. the, the, the reason why is because I feel like when you got a guy out there that he might not be as good as you at this, but it's comparable. Like you say, what what you do is you make the you make the game so much more so, so much less difficult for that person. So Steph Curry, his ability to shoot the basketball, uncanny. But I got a dude that's six foot seven. I mean, he has sixty points in the game on twelve dribbles. So if I got to deal with him plus Steph Curry, <clears throat> excuse me, if I got to deal with him plus Steph Curry, my 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 degree of difficulty has gone through the roof. As opposed to, I got <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I got something in my throat. I got to deal with somebody in Hakeem Olajuwon defensively. That makes my job so much more difficult because now we got to focus our offense solely on this guy who's incredible defensively. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I, I think I just think Steph's a... I might be higher on Steph shooting than a lot of people because the gap I think Steph has to whoever's number two as a shooter is astronomical. And that's how I feel, Mars. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel the same way you feel about Steph as a shooter. I feel the same way as Lajuan as a defender. I think I think Lajuan is the best defensive player in NBA history. I think it's Lajuan and then I think it's and then I think it's everybody else. That's I how I feel about Lajuan. Yeah, that's as a probably defender. where the disconnect. Is. <clears throat> I, I just think it's kind of weird. No disrespect to Hakeem. Though. I'm not trying to disrespect. Mm -hmm. I just think I just think it's weird when we're sitting here asking like <laughs> if LeBron's finishing is better than like Steph's shooting, right? I'm asking that from LeBron and Steph. I'm not going to include other factors like LeBron and MJ and Shaq being top three, and then there's a gap with Steph and then everyone else. Now, in terms of like who dominated that, who dominated their specific like attribute better, then I think that's what Mars is like alluding to. But when I'm just simply trying to be like, all right, what's more valuable in the game of basketball? Uh, Hakeem's defense or Steph shooting or LeBron's finishing or Steph shooting. Like, I'm just going to keep it as those two, including all these other players into my equation. I just, I don't, I don't see the point in that at all. I I always think the quality is relative to what is, uh, I, think, <clears throat> I think that's, that's to me how I'll judge it. And I think it comes down to the best way I could explain it. If you, if you had a bunch of people running on a hundred meter sprint, and you run it at 9.8 seconds, but second place and third place are at 9.82. So it's very close. But then you have another 100 meter sprint, like 50 years previously, where the world record was 9.9, .9, and you run it at 9.884, and everyone mm -hmm. else was at 9.96. Relatively, the one who ran it at 9.84 is a better sprinter because they were so much better than the rest <clears> of the field. <throat> Do you get what I'm saying? Even though technically the 9.8 is faster. Yeah, that's where the that's 9. where the, that, four, that's where the like, disconnect is. You're so much is. better than the rest of the competition. Mm. And that and that's where that's, the disconnect is. And that and that's why I say dominating his category, sure, but that's where the disconnect is because that's how I don't rank it like that. Yeah, because you, you don't if, do relative if, to error. And exactly. I, so yeah, if we the, understand if, why we yeah. disagree. Yeah. So if if the person is 9.8 and the motherfucker is 9.8, it's still 9.8 to me. I don't give a damn. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I mean <laughs> it's just it's just more valuable in my eyes.